Hello and welcome to the 24th PHP tutorial. We're going to be building on the last one, which was string manipulation. Um, we left off with a way to split up strings uh, however we want. Another method to split up strings is called exploding strings. Um, so the way that you're going to do that is literally call explode. So let's just hop right on into that. And we're going to say explosion equals explode. And then within explode, you say... <clears throat> Uh, it's like kind of like flipped with the tokenized. So you're first going to say what you want to explode by. Then you want to ex then you want to specify what you want to explode. In this case, we're going to do string. Just like the tokenized, um, if it, if that's not if that character isn't in here, this can return a false uh, statement. So. Um, eventually you want to say if not equals false or some, some sort of if statement that will catch if you're trying to explode by something that doesn't exist. But otherwise, uh, what we'll do now is what this does that the tokenize isn't doing you know, directly is this is going to throw it right on into an array. So it explodes it into an array. So what we can do to view that array is use our print r function and we want to print r uh, explosion. So now, uh, let's just go ahead and print that. And we'll refresh. And as you can see, it prints out the array. The zeroth element is hey there, buddy. And so why might you use this over tokenize? It really, it, it, it doesn't matter because uh, the reason you might use an array is it's really easy to loop through an array. But with what we just showed you before with the tokenize, you're looping through it, right? Like you don't necessarily have to loop through an array. In, in that case, we were just looping through and we were already utilizing the, the looping through part of using an array. So um, it really doesn't matter which one you use, but um, it's good to know what someone means, uh, you know, like because you can definitely explode something. And uh, it's good to know because that's usually the terminology someone's going to use. Like, okay, we, we wanted to explode that document and split by something, right? Um, it's good to know what they were meaning by the term explode. So another cool little function that's built right into um, PHP is this string similarity. Um, so that's pretty cool. So what we're going to do is string 2 equals um, hi there, buddy. And what string similarity is going to do is it's going to return a uh, percentage of similarity. So uh, the way that you want to call this is just uh, similar underscore text. And um, this takes three parameters. The first parameter is one of the things that we're going to compare. The second parameter is the next thing that we're going to compare. And the third parameter is you know uh, what you want to assign that answer to so in this case we'll just uh, call it similarity so now what you'll do pop down here let's just echo out and let's use the double quotes again just so we can get familiar with this similarity is dollar sign similarity so let's save that, pop over here, refresh, similarity is, well apparently it's 100%, but what if we do like, hey there buddy, how are you? Let's not generate a 100%. <laughs> uh, so now we'll come back over here, refresh, still give me 100%. Did we not add string 2 or something? Yeah, we didn't, okay. So let's go back to what we had. And we'll put this back up now that we're actually comparing to different strings. Okay, here we go. Uh, similarity is between these two strings 89.65%. So it doesn't uh, return a nice little decimal for us. Um, so obviously very similar strings, no doubt. Um, so what we can do is say like, hey there buddy, and then we'll add this, how are you doing today? Save that, and let's put that up, and let's see how much uh, similarity they have. Refresh, and sure enough, it's it's more like 50%, which makes sense because that you know like this first half is very similar, the second half is not very similar at all. So it's a cool little function that's built like straight up into into PHP. 
um, that can be useful for obviously a lot of different things, but or like you know just finding plagiarism. So you know like universities pay a lot of money for finding um, plagiarism amongst uh, bodies of work, and so it's kind of comical, you know, with very little with this plus uh, synonym recognition, boom, you've got yourself a very high-paying piece of software. <laughs> The uh, there is one more way to split strings up, and that is going to be using Preg split. Actually, I'm sorry. There's like a bunch of ways to split strings uh, in PHP, but another way to do that is using Preg uh, split, and then in the parameters you specify um, some things. And so the first thing that you would specify in here is what you want to split by, and then. So what you want to split by, let's say you want to split by a space, and then you do uh, what you want to do that to. Um, but the, the benefit of pregsplit split is <clears throat> it's standing for, uh, it, it's a way to use regular expressions to split strings. So eventually we'll get into that using regular expressions because regular expressions are just a wonderful uh, addition to coding. So we will be getting into that, um, but for now, if you're still looking for a way that, to split up a string and you just can't figure it out, like regular expressions is a way to uh, add a little bit of logic to how you're going to split strings. So anyway, we'll get to that eventually, but I do feel like I, I ought to mention that that's another way to split up strings. So if, you, if you're just uh, the impatient type, then you might want to check that out. Uh, so anyway, as always, thank you for watching and stay tuned to the next video.